Hey everyone, doing some work out here on the V10. It's starting to run a little bit rough. Not like an outright misfire, but it's hesitating. Um, if I rev it up, you know, to 3000 or whatever, which is what this engine likes for, you know, making actual power. If I do that, you know, to pass someone or to go up a hill or whatever, especially when I'm loaded with a bale of hay, it's just kind of hesitating a bit, surging a little bit. So I figured, well, maybe one of my spark plugs is coming loose. So I pulled all the coils and I checked all the plugs. They're all tight. I pulled number seven over there and it, you know, it looks good. Everything looks fine. So I'm happy with that. Uh, but I was coming in here disconnecting stuff and I come to find out that the PCV elbow is um, not holding up very well. When I first got this thing going over a year ago, a little over a year ago now, I just kind of, I took all this off and I replaced that 3 8 hose, I replaced the PCV valve, and I just kind of came in here with a knife and scraped that, tried to force it open a bit, but it's, it's getting choked off. That's a stupid design. So what I did, because I had this apart, was ran into town to the parts store, and as you can see right there, got a piece of three-quarter radiator hose, pretty uh, it's, it's an all right fit. Uh, if it starts to run loose, I'll just put a hose clamp on it, but I got that. I got a three eighths to half inch adapter, stuck the adapter in the three eighths hose coming off of the PCV valve, then put a piece of half inch on, stuck the half inch inside the three quarter hose. And now we're all good to go. It's all hooked up. It fits about as firm as the factory stuff did. So I'm, I'm happy with it. Uh, got everything else hooked back up. Just kind of putting everything away then I'll fire this up go run it for a while still gotta haul hay but I thought I'd do a little bit of a video about that replacing these stupid this stupid thing because I, I looked a while back I looked and I couldn't find it there is a Napa part number it it looks like the same thing and this end right here is right but this bigger end on that part is too big and I don't like this elbow. I don't see any need for it. I mean, like, how hard would it have been at the factory to just take a piece of hose, even if they formed it a little bit, like, let's say they formed it to go over the transmission dipstick for whatever reason, and then they hooked it up to the throttle body. I mean, how was making this, how was that cheaper than just doing something like this? I mean, really? And then why would you have such a size difference? Why would you not run half inch to three quarter or three eighths to half inch? I I don't know what the engineers were thinking when they did that, but I, it was kind of stupid. I don't like the elbow, so I fixed it and made it all right. And yeah, ought to be ought to be fine now. So the only other thing I got to do before I start this is um, zip tie that back on there because I kind of have to have my hood bumper. But yeah, PCV valve upgrade, very, very important. It can't work any worse. I mean, I can't imagine that, I don't know if you guys can really see inside this, but again, to show you, I mean, it's getting pinched off pretty good in there. And I just, the more I think about this, the more I just cannot comprehend why they did it to begin with. It just seems pretty stupid to me. So that ought to work a lot better. I don't know if that'll fix my problem. Uh... If it's still hesitating and it's not running right, then it's probably something else. Maybe the fuel filter needs to be changed. I don't know. But I know for a fact that PCV line and that stupid elbow, I know it wasn't like it should be. This this should let it breathe a lot easier because if that line's disconnected, oops, don't want my whole hand in the way, but if that line's disconnected and that valve's not working, your truck's going to be pretty gutless uh, or it won't run at all. Like if you pull that line off while the engine's running, it'll just die. It doesn't really like to not have that connected, so that's pretty important. And then, uh, yeah, that's all I had for you guys today. Just a quick little video. The uh, We're taking a break from the power smoke. I've had enough of it for right now. I'm going to do a little bit of things to this. But for right now, I'm getting everything picked up. Go haul another bale of hay and maybe work on those ABS wheel speed sensors because my speedometer has been kind of wonky. I don't know, but... Hopefully this uh, was kind of useful to you. Hope so. If it wasn't, I'm sorry. If it was, great. So I'll cut it here, get on with my life, and I'll just catch you guys in the next one.